Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. We're taking a look at a really cool tweak from Cydia. It's called Lock Shot. So if we go ahead and hit the lock button on our device, go to the lock screen. As you guys can see, basically the tweak allows you to see through your lock screen and it adds a really cool looking blur effect. Uh, and I think this tweak is pretty damn awesome. It's really seamless. Let's go ahead and unlock our device. We can switch to the second springboard page. So I, I will show you guys that it does change the lock screen. As you guys can see, the app icons are obviously different. Uh, and you can also do it within any application, basically anywhere on your device uh, that you lock your device, you will see through wherever that was. So let's go into Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, be sure to do so. Link is in the description. But let's go ahead and swipe down so the photos are taken up most of the page. Go ahead and lock our device. And as you guys can see, you can see through it to wherever you left off. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the settings here for lock shot. There's a few things you can adjust with it. Uh, first off, you do have the enabled on off switch. You can disable the zoom animations. Basically, when you unlock your device, you will get an, uh, an application anim animation. Basically, they kind of like zoom in. It's hard to explain. I would just toy around with that if you don't want the animation. I find that disabling the zoom animations makes it a little bit more seamless. Uh, you have your blur radius. So if you want it to be less blurry, you can turn this down a bit. So let's go ahead and exit. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like when you turn it down. So as you guys can clearly see, it's less blurry than before. Obviously turning the blur radius down will do that. I like to keep it turned all the way up, honestly. I think the blurry, the more blurry it is, the better it looks. Uh, and then you do have a tint color down below here. So you can go ahead and enable that. Obviously you can basically choose any color in the rainbow you want to have a tint color from here. I have mine set to like a dark gray, which I think looks really cool. So if we go to the lock screen here, this is how I like to keep it, kind of like that dark gray. It keeps it very similar to the way my notification center looks. I really like that kind of darkened blur effect. I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, so that's how I have mine set up right there, and that's how I like to keep it. Uh, and that's pretty much everything with LockShot. Obviously, if you want to change the color, you will have to click the button there, Save Changes and Respring, every time you change the color. So keep that in mind. Everything else you can do on the fly. No respring required. Uh, but again, this tweak is called Lock Shot. I will leave all of the package information down in the description for those of you that are curious uh, and might want to download and try it on your device. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.